Good afternoon. Welcome to the Daily Office. I'm Brother Bill, and this is Evening Prayer for Monday, May the 9th, 2011. It's the third week in Easter, and today is the feast day of Gregory of Nazianzus, who was Bishop of Constantinople in 389. The scripture for this service, Psalm 9, Luke chapter 4, verse 14 to 30, and the Song of Mary, Luke chapter 1, verse 46 to 55. O oh God, come to my assistance. Make haste to help me. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia. I praise you, God, with all my heart. Alleluia. Psalm 9. I praise you, God, with all my heart. I recount all your wonders. I rejoice in you and am glad and sing psalms to your name, O Most High. See how my enemies turn back, how they stumble and perish before you. You upheld the justice of my cause. You sat enthroned with justice, judging with justice. You have checked the nations, destroyed the wicked. You have wiped out their name forever and ever. The foe is destroyed, eternally ruined. You uprooted their cities, and their memory has perished. But you sit enthroned forever, the throne is set up for judgment. You will judge the world with justice, and will judge the peoples with truth. For the oppressed be a stronghold, a stronghold in times of distress. Those who know your name will trust you. You will never forsake those who seek you. Sing psalms to God who dwells in Zion. Proclaim God's mighty works among the peoples. For the avenger of blood has remembered them, has not forgotten the cry of the poor. Have pity on me, see my sufferings, you who save me from the gates of death, that I may recount all your praise at the gates of the city of Zion, and rejoice in your saving help. The nations have fallen in the pit which they made, their feet is caught in the snare they laid. You are revealed, and you have given judgment. The wicked are snared in the work of their own hands. Let the wicked go down among the dead, and all the nations forgetful of you. For the needy shall not always be forgotten, nor the hopes of the poor be in vain. Rise, O God, let mortals not prevail. Let the nations be judged before you. Most High, strike them with terror. Let the nations know that they are but mortal. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia. I praise you, God, with all my heart. Alleluia. The lesson is from the Holy Gospel according to Luke, chapter um, 4, beginning at verse 14. Then Jesus, filled with the power of the Spirit, returned to Galilee, and a report about him spread through all the surrounding country. He began to teach in their synagogues and was praised by everyone. When he came to Nazareth, where he had been brought up, he went to the synagogue on the Sabbath day, as was his custom. And he stood up to read, and the scroll of the prophet Isaiah was given to him. He unrolled the scroll and found the place where it is written, The Spirit of the Lord is upon me because he has anointed me to bring good news to the poor. He has sent me to proclaim release to the captives and recovery of sight to the blind, to let the oppressed go free, and to proclaim the year of the Lord's favor. And Jesus rolled up the scroll and gave it back to the attendant and sat down. And the eyes of all the synagogue were fixed on him. And then he began to say to them, Today this scripture has been fulfilled in your hearing. All spoke well of him and were amazed at the gracious words that came from his mouth. They said, Is this not Joseph's son? He said to them, Doubtless you will quote to me this proverb, Doctor, cure yourself. And you will say, Do here also in your hometown the things that we have heard you did at Capernaum. And he said, Truly I tell you, no prophet is accepted in the prophet's hometown. But the truth is, there were many widows in Israel in the time of Elijah, 
when the heavens were shut up three years and six months, and there was a severe famine over all the land. And yet Elijah was sent to none of them except to a widow at Zarephath in Sidon. There were also many lepers in Israel in the time of the prophet Elisha, and none of them was cleansed except Naaman the Syrian. When they heard this, they got up and drove him out of town, and led him to the brow of the hill on which their town was built, so that they might hurl him off the cliff. But he passed through the midst of them and went on his way. Here ends the lesson. Now let us offer our prayers and petitions, that this evening may be good, holy, and peaceful, that your holy angels may lead us in paths of peace and goodwill, that we may be pardoned and forgiven for our sins and offenses, that there may be peace in Jerusalem, unity in the church, and peace in the whole world, that we may depart this life in faith and fear, and not be condemned before the great judgment seat of Christ. That we may be bound together by the Holy Spirit in the communion of St. Gregory and all your saints, entrusting one another in all of our lives to Christ, and for all of your intentions. Our beloved in heaven, holy your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us as we forgive others. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. My soul proclaims your greatness. Alleluia. The Song of Mary. My soul proclaims your greatness. My spirit rejoices in God my Savior. For you have looked with favor on your lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed. You have done great things for me, holy is your name. You have mercy on those who fear you in every generation. You have shown the strength of your arm. You have scattered the proud in their conceit. You have cast down the mighty from their thrones and lifted the lowly. You have filled the hungry with good things and the rich you have set away empty. You have come to the help of your servant Israel, for you have remembered your promise of mercy, the promise you made to our ancestors, to Abraham and Sarah and their children forever. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia. My soul proclaims your greatness. Alleluia. Bless Yahweh, my soul, and may the God of hope fill us with all joy and peace in believing through the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Alleluia.